Okay guys, today I'm having a look at two upgrade kits for the Corsair Obsidian 800D. The USB 3 upgrade kit and the SATA 3 upgrade kit. Now the USB 3 upgrade kit is also compatible with the Corsair Obsidian 700D case. So this is how they came packaged. The SATA 3 kit is on the top in the small box and the front panel connectors kit is in the large box on the bottom. So included with the front panel USB 3 upgrade kit is two screws, a very easy to follow installation guide, a converter kit from USB 3 to a USB 2 internal motherboard header and also the front panel kit itself. As you can see on the front panel upgrade kit is two USB 3 ports, audio and jacks, two USB 2 ports and a firewire port. Now I have here a Corsair Obsidian 800D. So to compare the original front panel to the new upgrade kit, the only difference is that these two ports on the old panel are USB 2 and on the new panel they are USB 3. So the USB 3 ports on this front panel upgrade kit are designed to be plugged into the back panel USB 3 ports of your motherboard. Now if you don't have USB 3 whatsoever on your motherboard you also have the option to convert the USB 3 ports back to USB 2 and plug them into your motherboard's internal USB 2 header. Unfortunately with this kit there's no option to plug into an internal motherboard USB 3 header. So included with the SATA 3 upgrade kit is a very easy to follow installation guide. The necessary screws of which there's eight. The new SATA 3 panel for the Corsair Obsidian 800D internal hot swap bays and a SATA power cable. So the Corsair Obsidian 800D has four internal hot swap bays. So we're just having a look at the front of those here. So originally these were SATA 2 and obviously this new kit upgrades them to SATA 3. So this new SATA 3 panel goes at the back of the hot swap bays and we'll just have a close look here you can see this is where the four SATA 3 hard drives plug in. Now on the back of the PCB we have the SATA 3 plugs for four hard drives and also the SATA power. Now there's only one SATA power plug to power all four drives and that's what this cable is for. So the SATA power just plugs in there and this right angled plug plugs into the PCB. Now I'll just give you a look at the original SATA 2 panel. It's very different to the new panel. It's actually split into four pieces, one for each hard drive. Okay, so you can see there's double the amount of screws on the old configuration because there's only eight on the new one. So with this old one, there's eight on this side and there's also eight on the other side. Not only that, there is also four power plugs, whereas on the new one, there's only the one power plug. So they've cleaned up this PCB a lot. They've integrated it into one panel. So that'll make things a lot more neat and sturdy. Okay, so I've installed the SATA 3 upgrade into the case. And you can see it's a lot neater. So what improves it the most is not having all of those extra power cables. And also having the SATA data plugs facing the other way. So just a quick look at my system while we're at it. If you want full details on my system, I'll put a link to some videos up on the screen. Check them out. 
So that sums up this video. I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching guys. Please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Thanks guys.